All right, guys, welcome back. Well, spring is finally springing. Songbirds are singing. And uh, it's finally not super cold, so I can get back to working on the airboat. So on last video, that was several weeks ago now, The I was doing some testing with decibels and added a bit of boost and I popped a head gasket. So uh, I haven't been able to work on it at all since then, so what I'm going to do today is hopefully uh, get into it and see how much damage there is. I'm hoping it's just the, the head gasket. And uh, anyway, I plan to do it with, all with the cage on here. I'll just take off the intake. I'm going to take both heads off, take a good look inside. And if the motor's trash, then I guess I have to, get to take it all apart and put a new one in. But hopefully just head gasket. And the way I'm going to deal with that is some ARP studs and some, I think these are LS9. Uh, these are multi-layer steel gaskets. So that's the plan. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, well, there we have it. So as expected, this uh, head gasket is blown right there. But the cylinders and pistons look okay. I'll take a good look at that. But so far, everything in there looks fine. So what I'm going to do is uh, just clean this up. I'll give this a scrape. I'm going to put the new uh, head studs in, new head gaskets. I'll bolt the head back on and then I'll switch to the other side. This other side is the same as well. Uh, it looks fine. So cylinders, pistons are okay. I got the new head gasket on. I'll put the studs in and torque it all back down. All right, so I got both uh, heads back on, everything buttoned up. And um, there's a couple other things I'm gonna do at the same time. One of the things is 
this exhaust connection here. As you can see, it's a little misaligned, which is interesting because when I welded it together, it was all completely lined up. But I guess from heat cycling a few times and just the way it is, there's a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to re-weld it so that it fits perfectly. And uh, I will add a little flex join in there. So that'll be part of it. And then the other thing I'm going to do is uh, work on some gauges, putting a boost gauge and the other engine gauges on. This is the section of the uh, hot section that, it's, that I'm going to revise. It came out pretty easy. Just a couple of V-band clamps and uh, bolts for the flanges. And so, you can see, so I have the flex on there. And this area here, I thought it was short enough it wouldn't need it. But it seems from the heat cycling or whatever, it would be an advantage to have a flex section in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll keep the same flange for the V-band. I'll cut out a section here, put a flex piece in there, and that should be it. I've got it aligned perfectly there. So I'm gonna tack it in with the welder here. I'm just gonna make it, and um, I'll tack it, and then I'll bring it down and do a finish weld. Okay, so it's back up and running. I have a little um, temporary boost gauge on the top there on the manifold, and uh, I'm going to run that pressure line to a proper bezel. That'll be the next thing is to, to put all the gauges on a proper bezel. But anyway, I put the boost on just to see what it is, and uh, it's running pretty high. Uh, I did a quick run just up to 15 pounds, which is more than I want. I want it to stay around 8, maybe 10 at the most. So, uh, Probably, well, I changed the spring in the wastegate pr just prior to blowing the head gasket, so I think I'm going to change that spring back. Yeah, too much boost.